James the second best. James and Edward are engines of the same size. They both have black funnels, buffers at the front, and tenders at the back. And they are both engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. One morning, Sir Topham Hatt brought a photographer to Tidmouth Sheds. This year, there is to be a holiday poster for the railway, Sir Topham Hatt said. And I need an engine to be on the poster. All the engines were very excited. James was sure his photograph would be taken. I will look wonderful on the poster, thought James. The engine on the Sodor railway poster will be... Edward! Announced Sir Topham Hatt. Edward was delighted. But James couldn't believe it. He was sure a red engine would be just the thing for the poster. The photographer tried to take a picture of Edward. But James got in the way. James, leave the shed now, ordered Sir Topham Hatt. James puffed sadly away. Soon the posters were seen all over the island. But James still wanted to be the poster engine. I wonder why Edward was chosen instead of me, James puffed. Because, huffed Henry, Edward is always gentle with his freight cars. And he doesn't mind doing the dirty jobs, puffed Percy. And he's always on time, chuffed Thomas. James was cross. I can do all those things too, pouted James. I'll show you that I'm good enough to be on the poster. And he chuffed away. The next day, Edward and Thomas were working in the yard. Edward shunted his freight cars softly and smoothly. When James arrived, he shunted his freight cars softly and smoothly too. See, I can be gentle just like Edward, puffed James. I am good enough to be on a poster. Edward finished a long time ago, teased Thomas. He's already delivered his coal. That's why he's the poster engine. James wanted to be as good as Edward, so he raced off to collect his coal cars. James delivered dirty coal cars all afternoon. He became greasy, grimy, and grubby. And his bright, shiny red coat was soon covered in coal dust. See, Puff James, I can get just as dirty as Edward. I am good enough to be on a poster. But James was so dirty, it took a long time to get him clean. James was soaked and scrubbed. They even brushed behind his buffers. Your gentle shunting and getting dirty has made you late for your passengers, puffed Percy cheekily. Edward is always on time. That's why he's the poster engine. Then, James had an idea. If I take Gordon's express line instead of the branch line, he thought, I will arrive before Edward and collect my passengers first. That will show everyone I'm good enough to be on a poster. So James puffed onto Gordon's line. Then he raced across the countryside. James rattled over bridges and clattered through tunnels. He really wanted to get in front of Edward. James puffed back onto Edward's line. It worked, laughed James. I'm first. Suddenly the signal turned red. James applied his brakes and screeched to a halt. But Edward couldn't stop in time. Sorry, puffed Edward. I didn't have time to stop. Don't worry, moaned James. It was my fault for pushing in. 
You're finally in a poster, chuckled Thomas. Maybe you are good enough after all. But James didn't feel very good. He felt very silly. Soon, Emily arrived with Sir Topham Hatt. James, your racing around has caused confusion and delay, Sir Topham Hatt said sternly. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, James puffed sadly. Edward, your cylinder has been damaged. You can't take the children to the seaside today. The children at the station were very sad. But we wanted to ride on the poster engine, the children cried. James felt worse than ever. Please, sir, James puffed. If I was a back engine, all the children could still ride on Edward. What a wonderful idea, said Sir Topham Hatt. Edward and his passenger cars were very heavy, but James pushed them slowly to the seaside. His pistons pumped and his axles ate, but James pressed on. They stopped along the way to pick up more children. It's Edward, the children cheered. And look at James. He's pushing him. Isn't James a grand engine for being so kind? James was so proud it made his boiler bubble. He felt more useful than he had ever felt before. Even though you weren't the engine on the poster, puffed Edward, you are still really useful. <laughs>